Double HD Nation, stand up and welcome back to the channel. Today, we are opening and taking a closer look at two, four, six, seven Hot Wheels 5 packs that are new for 2020. But yes, we have seven of them. So I cannot wait. Now, six of them are like brand new releases. They're hitting targets now. One, the first one we'll take a look at right here, the Hot Wheels Fun Park. That's been out for quite some time. I believe the beginning of the year before everything took a turn for the worse. But uh, now I am missing a handful of them. I'm missing the Glow Wheels, the Lambo, and I believe the Birthday Pack. So uh, I'll definitely keep a look. I keep an eye out for those. We'll go ahead and get some of these guys out of the way. And we will take a closer look at the first one, which is the Hot Wheels Fun Park. Pretty interesting little vehicles in here. Most of them are ride-alongs or ride-ons, whatever you got, wherever they, they call them. Hot Wheels Fun Park. Fun Park on the side. Now, these are $4.99 a piece. And, of course, it comes with a boom car, pedal driver, loopster, bump around, and bread box. So cool. All right. Let's go ahead and get this open. All right, and the first one we'll take a look at is Boom Car. It's like you put the little guy in there and you... Oops. That was not supposed to happen, but you flick him out. So Boom Car is actually pretty nicely detailed. Nice little decos right there. Hate the wheels that are on there, but that's all right. Now there will be... Because work is starting to slow down now, so there will be definitely more track time coming. And uh, fingers crossed for a monstrosity. I know I've been uh, jerking you guys' chain that a monstrosity is coming and it never happens. So uh, my sincerest apologies. I actually feel real bad about that. About how I keep telling you guys a monstrosity is coming and it never happens. So uh, hopefully you guys can forgive me on that. I am really, really sorry. But uh, I'm trying, guys. <laughs> I am really am. But of course, boom car. Go ahead and put him right there on the track. Next up, you have Pedal Driver. Nice and heavy. So I cannot wait to see how well they do on a track. Especially when they have to face one another. We'll definitely have a 5-pack versus 5-pack coming soon. Yeah, this car is just nicely detailed. Very cool. There's Pedal Driver. Alright, next up, you have Loopster. Now, I would love to find some more Loopster cars. That way we can have a nice big old train. That's pretty awesome. Love the hands up. Woohoo! That's always me. Everybody else is like, ah, I'm hanging on for dear life. Yeah, Loopster. Pretty cool. Love the colors they went with. All right, next up we have Bump Around. Bump Around is definitely what it sounds like, and it is a little bumper car with exhaust pipes. <laughs> it's pretty sweet. Got Bump Around there on the side. Nice. Cool. All right, bump around. And lastly, we got bread box. This is probably my favorite of the bunch just because it's like a tuned ice cream truck. I love the colors. Nice plastic body. I love the pink and yellow wheels on there. It's pretty dope. I love the disc rims for some reason. Got the exhaust pipes right there in front of the rear tire. Oh, yeah. Bread box. All right, on to the next one. All right, and next up we have the Hot Wheels Flame Set. You definitely, definitely got some beauties in this one. Even though I hate flame decos, it's just me. Got the flames on the side there, Hot Wheels Flames. So you got Passing Gasser, the 71 El Camino, 70 Plymouth Superbird, the 71 Maverick Grabber, and the 1970 Roadrunner. 70 Roadrunner is my favorite muscle car of all time. Well, I'd love to have one, but uh, I don't have the money to be able to afford one of those right now. But anywho, let's dive into it and get this open. All right, here we go. We will start with the first one, and that's Passing Gasser. Itty bitty wheels. Big old wheels. Holy moly, big old wheels. Jeez Louise. 
actually dig the magenta color they went with on this passing gasser. It's really nice. Yeah, passing gasser. Wheelie. Boom, boom. Hang it to you right there. Next up, we have the 71 El Camino. Slammed to the ground. I love the purple flames they went with it on this, especially with the charcoal wheels. Those two colors, the gray or charcoal and the purple really match one another. Looks really nice. Very sharp. Nice little exhaust pipe right there in front of the rear wheels. Oh, hey, don't bump him off camera. Big bully. All right, next up, you got the Superbird. Oh, yeah. Very sharp. Now, this would look really good if it did not have those flames on there. Again, just me. Sorry if you guys like the flame jobs, but I can't say I do. Big old wang on the back. Really nice. Superbird. All right, next up, we got the Maverick Grabber, 1971. I definitely like the Maverick a lot better without the mirrors on the side. <laughs> Cannot wait to see how these boys do on the track, especially when it comes King of the Hill time. All right, Maverick Grabber, look how sh look how sparkly that paint is. Nice. And lastly, you yeah, got the 70 Roadrunner. Definitely went with the matte paint on this. Looks good. Looks really good, actually. Wow. Like the rims on this one. See, this would look so damn good without those flames on there. I dropped it. Oh, yeah. 70 Roadrunner. All right, up next, we got Hot Wheels City versus Robo Beast. Got some really good track cars in here. As it says, best for track right there. I cannot wait. Let's see what's on the side. You got the T-Rex going chomp, chomp, chomp. All right, in here, you got Blitz Speeder, Dual Fueler, Symbolic, Hot Wheels Pursuit, and Voltage Spike. Oh, man. Those cars just sound sick. All right, let's get it open. All right, so up first we have Blitz Speeder. Man, that thing is slammed. Talk about aerodynamics. Got number five there on the side. Oh, it's a taxi. How do you like going for a taxi ride in this thing? Sign me up, please. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Can I have another? I'd go for a ride in this taxi. Can't say I'm too crazy about the wheels, but, you know, that's just my personal opinion. Love the see-through body. All right, Blitz Speeder. All right, up next we have Dual Fueler. Pretty sick. Now, sending this thing through a booster, I don't know how I'd feel about it because the rear wheels do kind of stick out quite a bit and they would tend to bend, but I don't know. We like to have fun with our Hot Wheels, don't we? Man, this thing's sick. Almost like a Batmobile. Very cool. Number three on the side. What we got there? Why see why? Huh. I don't know. Maybe the designer of the car? You guys can let me know. Would you guys quit bumping each other off camera? There's plenty of camera space for everyone. All right, up next we got Symbolic. Symbolic's actually really sweet. It's like a recycling car. Does that mean it's electric? I don't know. That's pretty nice. I dig it. Symbolic. Man, that thing is cool. All right. Oh, it rolls nice, too. All right, up next, we got Hot Wheels Pursuits. Pretty sweet. Fire Rescue. What do we got in the back here? Oh, that's a turbine. Holy moly. You're supposed to be putting out fires, not starting them. Got a big old moose pusher right there on the front. Brush guard. Depending on what part of the country you live in. Very cool. Alright, and lastly, you got Voltage Spike. Do these move? Oh, they do move. Okay, cool. 
Nice adjustable splitter and diffuser. Has a lock on the transport. Huh. What are you transporting? That's my question. Oh, armored transport. Where do you put anything? How are you supposed to haul something? Interesting. Okay. All right. Pretty nice. All right, three down, four to go. Next up, we got the Hot Wheels Rescue. It's one I'm actually really looking forward to because there's some decent track cards in here. Let's go ahead and take a look at the side. Looks like I got five alarm there on the side. That's pretty nice. Hot Wheels Rescue. Got the ambulance right there. It comes with Rogue Hog, Speed Trap, Rescue Duty, Five Alarm, and Nitro Tailgater. Fearless and fast to respond, these vehicles save the day. Touching. All right, here we go. Oh, ripping it, ripping it. Now, oh boy, this is my nightmare. Just get my fat finger in there. All right, cool. So we'll go take a we'll go ahead and take a look at Rogue Hog first. This thing is radical, you guys. Very futuristic looking. Got the police livery on there. 911. Oh yeah. Very cool. Looks like they got one seater in there. Hopefully you don't have to arrest anybody. Rogue Hog. I cannot wait to put this thing on the track. Maybe one of my favorite vehicles now. All right, up next, we got Speed Trap. Speed Trap is definitely a very sweet car, very fast on the track. This is the Highway Patrol. Love the red and blue wheels. That is sick. I guess that's a beadlock and not the actual wheel. But I, this is my second Speed Trap to the collection, and uh, yeah, it's definitely worth having in your collection because it, like I said, it is a monster on the track. Speed Trap. Back Rogue Hog up a little bit. And... Thank you. Next up, we got Rescue Duty. Very nice yellow. Ambulance. Hey, what? What? Okay. Who's doing this? Where do you put the person? This is a... Oh, boy. That's not an ambulance. You can't even put anybody back there. All right. Somebody needs to talk to marketing. See, I don't like it when they do like an orange body and like, or, I mean, yellow body, orange wheels. To me, that looks terrible. So, uh, okay. Can't really say I'm a fan of that one just because they say ambulance, but they it's not an ambulance. It's a fire truck. I don't know. That's just me. Next up, you got five alarm. Does it move? It does move. Nice. You know, if Mattel's going to cheap out and keep that stationary. Five Alarm is definitely a sweet model. Definitely a great track vehicle. Engine number 20. Sharp. All right, and lastly, you got Nitro Tailgater. This is the Fire Chief. This is definitely a dragster body. Got the parachute there on the back. Big old wang up there. Got the full-blown V8, got the exhaust coming right out in front of the front wheels. Right behind the front wheels, sorry. Wow, that thing's sweet, though. I don't know how well of a track car this is. Probably not very good because of the wing that sticks up and the wheelie bar, but, you know. Gotta go get that fire. All right, cool. All right, moving on to the Action 5-Pack. Very sweet. A little bit of a track there on the side. Action 5-Pack. Very nice. Okay, it comes with chicane, high voltage, high voltage, sorry, fast fish, carbonic, and WhatsApp. These super stunt and racing machines are ready to tackle the craziest challenges. Oh boy, wait till you meet my monstrosity. Then we'll see if you're ready. All right, cool. Break into it. It does say best for track, so you guys know what that means. It's best for track. <laughs> All right, we'll take a look at Chicane first, or as Race Groove says, Chicane! Love the chrome body on this, and I love the disc wheels. 
This thing is sick. Definitely one of the most beastly track cars out there. Chicane's ready to take on anybody. Stop. Thank you. Next up, you have high voltage. Number two, got Roy on the side. Who's Roy? Yellow canopy, I like that. Love these colors they went with. Stop. Ow, oh, you didn't do it. All right, next up, you got Fast Fish. Definitely another great track car. K Hole. A Seto. Definitely more of a retro fast fish, in my opinion. Like retro muscle car looking. I love the orange wheels, it's nice. I dig it. Fast fish. And next up we have Carbonic. Definitely a little roadster. Jerowat Racing number three. Love the purple five stars, those are nice. I love the white paint too. Very cool. All right. And lastly, lastly, you got WhatsApp. Now I am worried about sending this one through a booster as well because of the exposed rear wheels, but you know, collateral damage, I guess. So yeah, there's WhatsApp. Can't really say I'm a huge fan of this model. It's all right. It's just there. So, I mean, I like those four a lot better, but you know, it's nice to have. I don't have a WhatsApp in my collection yet, so pretty cool. All right. All right, down to our final two. Next up, we got the X Racers five pack. Very cool. Now this does not say uh, best for track, so uh, interesting. So I think we got some decent track cars in here, like these two probably. You, Rising Heat, not so much. Dirty Outlaw, yeah, definitely not. But you, I don't know. Nice picture right there on the side with Dirty Outlaw and the red car, who I do not know yet, but we're about to find out. So up first you got X-Steam, Crescendo, Crescendo, sorry, Rising Heat, Dirty Outlaw, and, oh, Salt Shaker. Okay, that's who you are. All right, vehicles with clear bodies and wheels, plus they're super fast on track. All right, cool. Let's go ahead and get it open. Of course, it's not tearing like it should. Oh, we're getting it. We're getting it. We're getting it. There we go. All right, so up first, you got X-Steam. I like how they put X-Steam on the side. That is a nice touch. Oh, this is a three-seater. Holy moly, the driver sits there and two passengers? That thing's sick. Does it have an adjustable splitter? Does it? It does have an adjustable splitter. Nice. Cool. X-Steam. I dig it. I like that one a lot. I like it a lot. All right, next up, we got Crescendo. Wow, this thing's got some weight to a metal base. Yep. Adjustable splitter. You betcha. Yeah, you know, I'm just, sometimes I just pull on these and hope for the best that they're adjustable. <laughs> got Crescendo on the top. X-Racers number two. Wow, I, I love those clear wheels. That is sick. Crescendo. All right, next I've got Rising Heat, one of my least favorite Hot Wheels, honestly. I don't know why, I just don't like it, honestly. All right, here's Rising Heat. I don't see Rising Heat's name on their car, but that's all right. It does have the adjustable uh, splitter. Sorry, lost my train of thought. X Racers. Yeah, where is Rising Heat? All right, next up, we got one of my favorite castings of all time, and that's Dirty Outlaw. Love the purple and green. Definitely went with the Hulk theme. <laughs> Don't have Dirty Outlaw's name on. Oh, yeah, they do. It was on the other side, silly head. Dirty Outlaw. That is sweet. Dirty Outlaw. And lastly, you got Salt Shaker. Oof. 
Look at the itty bitty wheels on here. You know, salt flat racer. Got the turbines there. The big old ones on the front. Holy moly. Wow, this thing is cool. And this is light, actually. Even for even with having a crap. Even with having a metal base. Wow. Salt shaker. All right, our last five pack of the day is the Night Burners. This one I was really looking forward to. Looks like you got one of the cars right there on the side. Looks like it is the Ford on the side. Night Burners there on the side. Oh man, these cars are sick. What we got here? We got the Renault Sport RS01, the Dodge Challenger drift car, the Ford Focus RS, track manga, and the custom 2012 Ford Mustang. Super speeders designed for night driving. Well, alrighty then. Cannot wait to look at that Renault. I'm so excited. That's one I'm looking forward to the most. Alright, so up first we got the Renault Sport RS01. This thing is radical, you guys. I don't expect to put this thing through a loop because a non-adjustable splitter. But I bet if you just stick to boosters, flat tracks, and curves, this thing is a rocket ship. Wow. That is a great looking casting. Holy moly. What a beautiful car. All right. Renault Sport RS01. All right. Next up, you got the Dodge Challenger Drift Car. Now, this is uh, actually one of my favorite Dodge castings. It's very nice. Got the Hemi on the side with the Mopar on the quarter panel. Hot Wheels there on the wing. And I bet this thing brings the smoke, I tell you. Look at those big old wheels. Holy moly. Dodge Challenger Drift Car. What do we got next? We got the Ford Focus RS. You know me, love my Fords. Those big old exhaust pipes. Charcoal wheels, 10 spokes, nice. All right, nothing too special with a little full focus, but uh, you know what, it's pretty nice. Next up we got Track Manga. What does that say? Somebody help me in the comments down below. What does that say? Does it say anything? That big old wing. Wow, this thing is cool. I wonder if they're going to make like a manga tuner version of this. We are, you know, our manga tuner has a top on there. But I wonder if they're going to do this one next. Would not be surprised. Manga tuner. Very nice looking. I like that one. All right, and lastly, you got the custom 2012 Ford Mustang. Sam T there on the side, number three. Jones, Hart, Roy, Hot Wheels. CAO Performance. Wow. Love the blue they went with. Man, I cannot wait to get these things on some tracks. Oh my gosh, I'm, I'm Jones and I'm missing some tracks, Double HD Nation. Ah, soon though, soon. Bear with me. All right, there you have it. And there you have it, Double HD Nation. Today's little showcasing of the new, of some new 2020 Hot Wheels 5-packs. So why don't you guys go ahead and do me a solid and smash the like button on this video. That lets me and YouTube know you do enjoy the content and you want to see more of it. In the comments down below, let me know what your favorite 5-pack was from this video. Mine would definitely have to be, oh man, it's a tough choice. But I would probably have to say it's that action pack, followed closely by the Night Burners. That action pack definitely has some sweet models in there that are going to be amazing on the track. You got to give it up to the X Racers for putting my boy Dirty Outlaw in there. Again, another great track, but yeah, definitely the action pack is my favorite. What's your favorite down below? Leave me a comment. Make sure you're subscribed and have that bell rung so you never miss a future upload. Go ahead and go follow all my socials. All those links are down below, including the Discord. Definitely go join the Discord. Go chat it up with other Hot Wheels fanatics over there. 
But lastly, have a great rest of your day, and I will see you guys next time here at the Holler. Bye bye